Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another review and today I'm going to be taking a look at something absolutely massive and absolutely impressive. This right here is the 144th scale Archangel Catapult deck. This, believe it or not, is high grade and it is by Mega House as part of the Realistic Model series. Now, I've taken a look at one of these before, which is the deck of the Argama. This is even bigger and even more impressive than that. Let's check it out. Out of the box first. Oh yeah, and I got this from Bayi. So if you want one of your own, link is down there in the description. So the big old catapult deck of the Archangel right here, this isn't necessarily a model kit, but it does have a certain degree of building to it. It comes as a bunch of pre-painted and pre-assembled elements, and all you have to do then is put them together. Now I will mention, this is simple enough besides a couple of points. I did have a little bit of issue with the front flaps at the front. Well, actually, front side flaps at the front side. And the reason is I find they kind of clash inside with these little pieces. So I say take these out when you're closing the whole thing up or they will kind of get in the way. Besides that, the assembly is simple, effective, and although this thing is huge, it is lightweight, but rock solid. This model right here is rife with awesome elements from the anime and the detail is ridiculous. Now I will mention, this does come with a set of water slide decals to even bring this to the next level. I did not have the time to actually do that in today's video because I just got this in the mail, but if you want to detail it up even further, those are included. When this is assembled, it is absolutely gargantuan and perfect for using with any of your 144th scale Gundam Seed high grade kits. Now, when I was putting this together, I had the entry grade in mind. That is my favorite 144th version of Strike, but I will mention when I was trying to attach the parts to attach it into it, it does turn out that they don't fit exactly because of where its base adapter is. So it does seem like this particular model is for using specifically with the high grade revived version of the Ale Strike Gundam. But anyway, besides being an absolute mammoth of a tank of a massive model, we do have a whole bunch of options in here. First off, you can have it as the entirely closed up catapult like this, or you can open up the entire front and slide out these rail segments. It is also worth noting that you do need two AA batteries for using with this to light up those rails, which looks phenomenal. Now in the brightest of light, these might not be too effective, but in a dim or darkish room, this looks outstanding. There is two modes, that is on or this pulsating version, both looking absolutely fantastic. And with the strike in there, this is an awe-inspiring setup. Now, like I mentioned, there are a ton of options in here. Now, if you want a little bit more of a internal display, you can do that too. By removing the entire top and the side panel, you can now see inside of the catapult deck. 
There's so much detail in here and a ton of moving parts. First off, I will mention you can actually move this cage segment for the mobile suit as well as the actual catapult foot segments. Those can slide the entire length up and down the deck. When we've got the side out of this, you do have to add in another little stabilization part for holding it all together, but it is a simple transition between the closed up version and the open version. And now that we do have it opened up, there is a whole bunch of options in here to display the strike inside of this in whatever manner you want. First off, like I mentioned, we do have the power cable in here, but it is fitted to the revived version of the high grade ale strike. It will fit onto the entry grade, but it will stick out ever so slightly. This attaches into the cage segment or into the rear back wall of the catapult deck and then attaches onto the base adapter crotch segment of your strike. Next up, we have some wall mounting aspects for attaching the various different accessories. We've got one that's fitted for the shield, one that is fitted specifically for the beam rifle, and finally one that is fitted specifically for the high grade ale striker pack. Now, I will mention there is an option in here as well for a three millimeter peg attachment hole that you can use with any accessory that you want. When these are attached to their adapters, the beam rifle connection point and the shield connection point attach onto the inner walls, either the left or right, depending on which ones you left in there. These mount perfectly, look fantastic. And the adapter with the ale striker pack attaches right here into the rear wall of the catapult deck. Finally then getting that mobile suit cage in there and once again you have a ton of display options to have these strikes separate from all of its equipment adorning the walls of the inside of the archangel which i have to admit makes a great display especially if you've got one of those gray strikes for when it isn't active this one right here there's an entry grade around and i'm pretty sure there's a high grade too alternatively you might want that iconic ready to launch strike pose like this right here all you have to do is load on all the accessories onto the strike you can leave all of the different mounting points on the walls of the Archangel. You can move the cage back out of the way and you can pop the strike onto those catapult deck foot thingamajigs that it stands into. This looks absolutely intense. So whether you do it with the side open or you want to close up the entire thing like this. Now, when I got the catapult deck of the Argama, I always wanted to film more videos on it because I thought it would look outstanding. The problem is because a load of it is just kind of open and empty and missing a lot of the actual Argama itself, I always found it was a little bit flat and looked like a prop. Now this really does stand out to me a whole lot more because it is a complete segment. So you could really film and take photos of some really over the top poses. It works for a great display as well as a great photography and video subject. Now, if this isn't enough of the actual Archangel for you, they are actually releasing in future a sort of add-on for this, which is the bridge of the Archangel, which is really cool. So you could place that somewhere in the background. Hell, you could get a second one of these and start building your own full 144th scale Archangel. Yeah, but what can I say? This is, without a single doubt, the ultimate Gundam seed display piece. If you've got a whole bunch of 144th scale seed kits, then you're going to need this in your collection just as that absolutely awesome background. It is definitely pricey. It is after its release now, so it'd be even pricier. But if you ask me, was it and is it worth it? I would say absolutely. This thing kicks ass. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gundam and Gunpla reviews, and I'll see you next time.